Hi, I'm Matt from the Atlantic Salmon Trust and this is Adam Bynan Jones from the West Sutherland Fisheries Trust. Uh, here we are at the Laxford Sea Trout Tracking Project. It's been a fantastic collaborative project between West Sutherland Fisheries Trust, the Atlantic Salmon Trust, the University of Glasgow and also Marine Scotland Science. We've been tracking 100 sea trout around the lock here across 40 acoustic receivers and here we are on a, uh, a mussel farm boat going out and collecting some of our receivers. So th th this project has uh, stemmed from work that the West Sutherland Fisheries Trust has been carrying out for the past two decades really, uh, monitoring the sea trout populations within the estuaries. And th the idea with this is really to take it further to find out about where the fish are going, how they're using the habitats and uh, what further management practices can be implemented in order to better conserve them. So we're tracking fish all the way out to the mouth of the lock, which is maybe 10, 15 kilometres from where they're released. Um, we have receivers placed all the way through the estuary and up into fresh water. Um, we have some receivers which are hanging off aquaculture cages, uh, off some salmon farms. We have receivers which are next to mussel beds. We have receivers which are in open water. And some of the receivers are up to 80, 90 metres deep. So we have a real big selection of receivers of where they are. This is uh, one of the acoustic receivers that we've been picking up. As you can see, it's got quite a lot of growth on it, barnacles and sea squirts. We have 40 of these spread throughout the lock, all the way through freshwater, estuaries, intertidal zones, and all the way out to open water. Um, and it's, it's this equipment that allows us to track where the fish are going and really get some of this novel data and really understand what's happening with these fish. So understanding what habitats these fish are utilising and how often they're there, we can identify which are priority areas. At the minute, if development wants to take place, if there's pollution spills, we have very little information about how these will affect populations of sea trout. And once we have this data, we can now use that to help advise uh, management strategies and help advise on developments that should take place in either different locations or also identify locations which are suitable for development.